Hi everyone, welcome to our team call tonight. We're so excited to have you all here if you're listening live or listening to the recording. We are going to talk about how to double your income in six months. And we are also going to have a, two guest speakers talk on the call today. We have um, Cindy, who is an Emerald Coach from Utah. She's going to talk about um, how Success Club has helped her grow her business. And then we have Trisha from Arizona, who's a diamond coach on our team, who is going to talk about how getting to diamond has helped her grow her income and the difference between being a coach and being a diamond coach in her income. Um, so, but first of all, just a couple of announcements. Um, so we have one day and a couple of hours left to hit Success Club. So there's still time, and we're just finishing up the Team Cup Challenge, which has been awesome. So I hope you guys are all doing great in the Team Cup Challenge and going to the end. Um, they're always fun to be a part of. So that ends tomorrow. The Pio Challenge Pack goes off sale um, at the end of the month. So that is a big sell through tomorrow. Um, also, we have a winner who won. He won the $500 prize, and then he won the $1,000 prize, and he's up for the $5,000 prize. So make sure to vote for him. He is, his name is John D. He's in the 50-plus category, and so you can vote for him through Sunday. You can vote um, once a day. So spread the word. We're trying to help him win. So that's the uh, second person we've had up for the $5,000 winner um, on our team, but we've never had anyone actually win it. So that'd be pretty awesome. Okay, so welcome, everyone. We're going to have um, Cindy start first, and she's going to – okay, there. I'm going to unmute your line. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Shannon. Hi, welcome. Okay, so like I said, Cindy's uh, an Emerald coach on our team. She is an amazing person. She has a lot going on, um, but she finds time to do her business, and she just hit Success Club 8 this month, and so I wanted to bring her on the line um, to talk about some tips on how she's gotten Success Club and some tips to help everyone get to Success Club. So welcome. Thank you. Um, one of the things that I've, I've thought about today to figure out what, what am I doing that makes it so I can get success club points, and I've realized that I've made a lot of personal phone calls. Um, I've been talking to my free challenge people or just friends or people that have expressed interest and have gone through um, figuring out what their goals are, why they're doing it, um, those questions that we always want to ask uh, to help get to know them even better. And as I've been going through those questions with them and helping them figure out their why, I'm always looking for clues in what they say um, so that I can pinpoint a particular program that would be beneficial to them. Um, I had one gal that I talked to a uh, day before yesterday um, who's going through cancer treatments. So a workout is not what she wants or needs. Um, what she needed was the, just the Shakeology. But we have a plan that um, as soon as she's done with her cancer treatments, she knows that she wants the 21 day fix because of the portion controls. So as I was going through the conversation with her, I was able to recognize what she needed um, and not uh, just trying to put a sale out there. Um, so look for clues of, of how to benefit them. Um, also, you need to know your products. You need to know what is best about Shakeology that will benefit them. If they're saying, well, I have high blood pressure, well, what in Shakeology will help with the high blood pressure? Um, and, and same thing, I just, one of my free customers that I emailed this morning emailed me back, and that was the first one that's emailed me back. Woo! I'm so happy about that one. <laughs> but um, he asked me specifically what workout would help with weak ankles. And of course, I've been doing Pio, so I immediately or typed back, um, emailed him back. Um, Pio works on strengthening your, your ankles, and it's helped mine. So you got to know what programs will help what issues. Um, and then follow up. This was another one that I, I found. I had several, well, two of my gals that ordered programs this month are ones that I talked to last month. 
So as I, as I talked to them and, and talked to them about their whys, um, it, it wasn't an immediate sell. So as I followed up this month and, and messaged them through Facebook or called them or whatever, um, I was able to help remind them of their why and help them order um, one of the challenge packs. Um, and then just regular calls and messages have been uh, also a big help for me. Just, just getting to know your people. Those are the tips I have. Awesome. Well, thank you, Cindy. Those are great tips. And you've been doing an amazing job with Success Club and with everything you have going on. So congratulations. Thanks, Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Sure. Okay, awesome. Well, I love hearing from coaches. So now we're going to move on to Trisha, who is a diamond coach on our team. So I'm going to see. There's a lot of people on this call. Okay, there we go. I'm going to unmute your line, Trisha. Okay, welcome, Trisha. Can you hear me okay? I can. Thank you. Sure. Well, we're excited to have you here. Um, Trisha is a diamond coach on our team, and she's also one of the busiest people I know. She has a lot going on, and She's pretty amazing. Um, she got to Diamond, and she's going to talk about the difference. Um, her income was from a coach to a Diamond coach. So welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So um, I noticed a huge difference when I actually made it to Diamond. Um, you know, I went for a little while just kind of, you know, going along, doing a little bit a little bit there, but I wasn't really um, – I think I got a little bit hung up on – Commissions. Um, I think I see that happen a lot. And um, I got hung up on, I don't want to have someone who might not do the business. You know, I don't want to miss out on those commissions by, by having them sign up as a discount coach. And I think one of the things that happened was there was a shift um, when I let that go. Um, one, one thing that um, I've had some of my mentors tell me is that, you know, you don't want to chase the money. Um, you want to try to help people. And if you can help people, then the money's just going to come. And what I found was that by offering someone to be a discount coach so that they could get their Shakeology at a discount and maybe stick with it a little bit longer, um, one, they do stick with it longer. But two, um, a lot of people get that fire let under them where they're like, yeah, okay, I really do want to do this. So um, I, I really suggest that when you think about building your team, um, that you think about building the team from different angles. Um, for me, I started out, you know, I was making, you know, 30 bucks here, 100 bucks there, you know, um, and it wasn't very regular. And that was all pretty much from commissions. And then once I actually kind of, like I said, let go of all that and said, all right, I'm going to try to build a team. Um, I went, well, actually, let me back up first. Um, you know, I kind of, as I got to Emerald, my income went up. I was making, you know, maybe $300 a month. Um, what we'll say maybe six months later. And then six months from that is when I became Diamond. Um, and when I became Diamond, that's when my income it really jumped. Um, I was actually very surprised at how much it did jump because you, know, you have this thought in mind that um, it was not going to be that big of a difference, but it, it really, really is. Um, so I went for, um, so my biggest paycheck at that point had maybe been like $330 or something like that. And I jumped all the way up to like almost $1,200 in one month. And, you know, a lot of that had to do with the team cup that, you know, we had participated in. Um, but since then, I have been able to maintain about an average of a thousand dollars a month and about 90% of that income is all from team bonuses. So it just really shows you that actually getting to diamond and ranking and having people under you that are doing some of the work um, alleviates one, the amount of work that you're putting in, you know, obviously you want to keep moving, but you're able to make more money uh, because you have other people underneath you. Um, so just it really, helped me with my business, um, you know, been able to maintain my diamond um, rank, and it's just amazing. Um, and, you know, a lot of you know, and I don't, I don't know if I should say this, because I don't want to deter people from really working hard, because you do need to work at it. But I've had a lot of things happen that kind of had made it to where I had to pull back a little bit. And so I haven't been bringing in um, the 
new people like I want to. And I haven't been making personal sales like I know that I can, but my average is still about a thousand dollars a month. So that's pretty amazing and a testimonial to why you really want to try and get to the diamond level. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, Trisha. I love hearing your story and you're just so motiv motivating. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Sure. Okay. Well, I'm so happy that we had those two guests on the line. They're two amazing coaches on our team and they are so awesome to join us. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and talk on the line. Um, so grab your pens and papers because I'm going to give you some practical info to help you guys. Um, I'm going to talk about, first of all, how to dip, um, double your income in six months. Um, so just a little background about me. Um, I started coaching in December 2011, and I got to Diamond in about three and a half months, and I maintained that Diamond for almost two years. And I didn't really um, get to star diamond level before that because I just kind of maintained it. I was doing okay. Um, but then this year, I've been able to help, um, including my husband, five people get to diamond between my husband and my businesses. So um, anyway, so it's been kind of cool. So now I'm in the star diamond level. Um, but in March 2013, um, my income, like Trisha said, I, you know, I was a diamond. I was maintaining about $1,000 a month, and I was just kind of going along. Um, and then I went to a Super Saturday in Arizona, and it really changed my, 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 my mindset and my outlook, um, and I decided to really go for it in the business. So I went to the Super Saturday, and I highly recommend going to the live events, um, if at all possible, in your area because that will really help you get the energy and excitement. They have Super Saturdays every quarter in your local area um, where you can get together with other Beachbody coaches. So I shared my story, and while I was there, um, someone from corporate was there, corporate Beachbody, and he said, I want to work with you. And so... I was nervous because I was only a diamond and usually you have to be at least a two star diamond for them to work with you. But he said, I'm going to help you to, um, to get to where you want to, to where you want to go. So from March, um, March, 2013 to September, 2013, I doubled my income in the six months and then I doubled it again the next six months. So from March, 2013, making about a thousand dollars a month to March, 2014, um, I had my first thousand dollar paycheck. Um, in March um, to that a year later. So anyway, so I was able to double every six months and now my goal is to continue to double every six months. And so there are several things that um, really helped me to double my income. So um, that I learned from, his name's Kobe Mitchell from Beachbody Corporate. So the first thing that I would say is focus. Um, that's the number one um, thing that really helped me with my business. Um, when I was going along in my business, I was blogging, I was doing videos, I was really consistent posting on Facebook, I was scrolling in the newsfeed, I was, I was doing a lot of things and I was spending a lot of time. Um, but when it came down to it, I wasn't super focused on the business activities that would move me forward. And it's really easy to get in that trap of doing a lot of things but not actually progressing in your business. And so focus really helped me to drive my business forward. Um, so Kobe told me to use the business activity tracker. And if you haven't heard of this already, talk to your coach about it. Um, but basically, it's a tracker to keep track of all of the activities that will help your business move forward. And so every single day, um, I would keep track of all. And he said to focus on these two things every day. Focus on new contacts and focus on invites to your challenge group or to become a coach. And so I really focused on those two things. And at the end of the week, I would send him my report. And I wasn't doing this before. But so the accountability and the focus on the new invites and the invites to the challenge um, were key. Um, I, w I was hitting Success Club because um, I run my husband and my businesses. So between the two of us, I would always get at least five or six points. Um, but I wasn't super consistent at hitting Success Club 5 every month in my business. And so that was another big key is to focus on Success Club and hitting it consistently. 
Um, so in January 2014, I made a goal to hit Success Club 10 every month. Um, and I've been able to, to do that. I've been able to hit between 10 and 22 points every month um, from January till now. And it's because of this. Like, um, so for the first little while of doing this activity, you know, focusing on new invites and invites to the challenge, um, I was starting to see uh, growth. Like I say, I saw my um, numbers grow in the first six months double. Um, but then once I hit certain momentum, it just kept going and growing. And so that's what I would say to anyone um, out there is like growing your pipeline at first, it takes time. And like, especially for new coaches, if you're just starting, um, like I would give it, you know, give it a good two to three months of really planting a lot of seeds, getting to know people, building relationships. Don't go straight for the sell. Um, like those new contacts, I would be talking to them about their family. I'd be, you know, if it's been a while since I talked to them, if I knew them, I would talk about their family, about their job, about what was they were posting on Facebook. I would really get to know them. Um, so it, we've talked about this before on some of our team calls. There's a book called Jab, Jab, Right Hook um, by Gary Vaynerchuk, which I highly recommend if you're using social media. Um, but he talks about like having a little jab. So, um, you know, it takes seven times for a person to take action. So giving a little jab, a little jab, and then a right hook. So the right hook is the message. The right hook is join my free challenge, join my paid challenge, become a coach. But it takes a lot of jabs to get to that right hook. So anyway, all those new contacts that I was adding, I mean, my goal was a minimum two new contacts a day. But, you know, I upped it to five or ten some days. Um, so if you want to go faster, I would just up your numbers. And like I say, really focus on those two main numbers, new contacts and invites to your challenges. Um, and, okay, so the next thing is um, your mindset. So I know I, I had a really limited mindset. Um, when I hit $1,000 a month, uh, I hit $1,000 a month about five months into my business and I kept it there for a long time because I thought okay this is cool I'm making a thousand dollars a month um, but I once I rose the bar and I said okay now I'm going to raise it I'm gonna double that um, it, it changed it started to change but before that it was staying the same so um, so I would encourage you to think a little bigger too, because that's something that kind of held me back is I was thinking really a lot smaller than I could be. And, um, you know, now like to, to see thousand dollars, I mean, my highest check so far has been 1200 a week. Um, but to see that actually happen, it's amazing. And then, um, and it grows from there. So so raise your goal um, and have your mindset in the right spot that you can really dream big and you can believe that it's possible. Um, okay, so the next thing is, um, like Cindy said, um, getting on the phone with people and talking to them on the phone. Um, that has been really important um, and helped me a lot in my business. Um, I, I'm really focused at who I talk to. So not everyone is going to get a phone call. Um, only, they have to kind of, um, deserve your time. Um, sorry, we have some kids in the back. Um, okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, so make sure that when you are on the phone with people, you're giving them maybe 10 or 15 minutes on the phone. Um, you're not spending hours on the phone. Um, I made this mistake at the beginning too, um, where I would spend hours on the phone talking to people and then that's all the time you have to do your business and you just spend it on with one person. So if you can say, um, this also sets you up as a leader. If you say, okay, I have 15 minutes to talk and we're going to go over your health and fitness goals. I'm going to see if you're a right fit for my challenge. Um, and I kind of go through an application process now. Um, so that people take me seriously. And so then, you know, I say, okay, we're going to see if my challenge is a good fit for you and a good fit for me. I'm going to ask you some questions and see if it will work. And it's, um, it's more of a business conversation. Um, I know, like, just like I say, getting in the trap of talking to people for um, hours or people just taking advantage of your time, just be very careful of that. 
and um, and be really uh, specific on who you're talking to. So the next thing that really helped me um, focus on doubling my income was to have a ten in play. So if you've heard any of um, Bob Lucido's talks, um, he talks about a ten and play list. So this is ten contacts that are either going to become a, a in your challenge group or become a coach. And so for me, um, I really focus. My my goal is to recruit five new coaches a month. So I'm talking to a lot of people about coaching every month. Um, I'm also you know looking for new people to join my challenge all the time too. Um, but that ten and play for me, my ten and play list is um, usually like half coach, half potential coaches, and half potential customers. But it's a really focused list, and every week I'm evaluating it, and so I'm looking at my list. Um, so this could have up to ten people on it. it; could have even three. You know, you just want serious people. Either they're going to move off and become a customer or a coach, or they're going to move on to your uh, talk to later list. Um, but every week I'm evaluating it, and if they're moving forward or backward, um, I'm readjusting the list. And sometimes the list goes down to zero, and I'm thinking, okay, I have to start over. Uh, what am I going to do to find um, new contacts? Um, so anyway, that 10 and play list really helped with the focus. Um, and then also the next person mentality, so kind of shrugging my shoulders. Like it's um, really hard at first when you're starting out as a coach to take things personally and um, feel bad if people say no or if they don't want to do anything. Um, but kind of take the shrug your shoulders. Christine Dwyer talks about this a lot. Like shrug your shoulders. Um, just say, oh, well, you know, they're not ready yet and move, move forward, move on to the next person. Um, when I had the move forward mentality, move on to the next person, that's when I started finding better people and finding the people that really wanted what I have. Because that's, you know, we're not here to sell people things they don't want. We're here to sell people things that will help them improve their lives and what they do want. Um, and so the last thing is um, personal development. I know you guys have all heard this before, um, but before I um, really got serious about this business in March 2000, like I say, March 2013, that's when I say I really started getting serious about this business. Um, I didn't really do a lot of personal development, and I would, if I did, it was kind of random here and there. Um, but personal development completely changed my business and my mindset, um, especially like if you're having an off day or you're struggling, um, jumping into personal development to help your, your mind get in the right set. And, you know, we all have our struggles um, personally that we're going through, and it's easy to let those personal struggles, um, you know, go into our business. And so for me, personal development, focusing on that um, really helped me to, to stay focused. Um, okay, well, that's pretty much everything I did. Um, you know, the main thing is um, keeping track of your numbers every day and finding someone that you can have as an accountability partner, either a success partner or your coach, but sending your business activity tracker or something to keep track of your numbers. Um, I know when I don't keep track of my numbers, I'm like, oh, I did a lot for my business every today, but when I look at the numbers, I'm like, oh, I didn't talk to anyone new. I didn't invite anyone to my challenge. I didn't talk to anyone about coaching. Um, so, the, yeah, the accountability and the focus, those were huge. So, okay, awesome. Well, thanks for letting me talk. Now we're going to open it up for questions. Um, we just have a few minutes. So we have a lot of people on the line. Um, so if you have a question, please, um, un you can unmute your line or you can type in the chat box. Um, okay, awesome. Benjamin just said he has a customer wanting to get a challenge pack. Great job. That's awesome. Okay, so yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and type them in the box or unmute your line. Hey Shannon. Hey, how's it going, Cuz? Good. How you doing? Good. So, um, one of the questions I have, um, I, I know we kind of talked about it a little bit, but as far as when you get somebody who's interested, I mean, maybe they're kind of half interested. They're like, okay, you know, what are you selling or whatever, and you kind of want to show them. So, the number one videos that you would recommend showing first would it be the um, 
the like like if I'm promoting the 21 day fix, would you show them that YouTube 21 day fix video where it's kind of just going over everything and then also throw on like Shakeology on that or what would you promote first? Yeah, so depending on the program that they want to look into, I would send them a YouTube video. That's a great idea. Um, the 21 Day Fix, we actually have a webinar from a guy who is in the test group. So that one has been converting really well. So you could send them to that one. Um, I try not to send them too many videos at once. So maybe one or two at the most, maybe a workout one in Shakeology. Um, and then just say, hey, when, when do you think you'll have a chance to watch these so that I can follow up with you? And then once they've watched them, then I would get them on the phone and I would, like I say, do kind of an interview process, go over their goals, see if they're a good fit for your challenge. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, because like, I mean, I got some people that they're like, yeah, I'll watch this within the week or whatever. I, I know I posted the 21 Day Fix video as well as the Ever Feel Like This video. And you can kind of see on their little message board, it'll say, you know, they've seen the, the post or whatever. And I hate to be one of those guys that's kind of like nagging them to keep watching it. So, like, I mean, how do you do it in a cool way, like, without, like, asking three times, hey, have you watched the video yet? Have you watched the video yet? Yeah. Well, so a couple of things. Um, first of all, actually, if you sent them and you said, hey, um, you know, my challenge group is filling up fast. Um, do you think you can have you can watch this by tomorrow and I could check in with you tomorrow? So you kind of set the time frame of when they're gonna watch it and then I usually just go off the challenge group like um, instead of saying hey have you watched it yet? I would say um, you know hey my group is filling up fast. I don't want you to miss it. Just wanted to check in to see if you're ready to join the challenge or if you have any questions. Um, but just kind of like put it on um, that you are the pro and you have a lot of people coming to you and space is filling up. And even like I set an end date of when they can join a week before the challenge. And if they don't join in time and they come to me like a day later, I say, oh, sorry, I have a wait list. If you want to join my wait list for next round and then I'll do one like two weeks later. Um, but yeah, just make sure to position yourself as a leader instead of looking like I need you, like, like they need you, not you the other way around. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. No, that's, that's totally cool. Awesome. Thanks. Great question. Okay. We have some questions in the chat box. Okay. So the 10 and play, this is a good question. Okay. Cindy's question was the 10 and play. How does it work? Um, and so basically the 10 and play list is a list of people that are, um, that they are going to progress. Um, so like when I would put someone on my 10 and playlist, okay, we have 10 minutes. Okay. We'll have 10 minutes to go. So, um, if someone is, if I've talked to someone about coaching at all, then I would put them on my 10 and playlist. If I've talked to someone about a workout, 21 day fix, I'd put them on my 10 and playlist, my 10 and play with list. I'm going to be contacting them every two to uh, one to three days. Actually, I'm going to be contacting them a lot. Like that's my focus. And if they're like, Oh, I don't know. Or, Oh, not right now. Then I'd move them off the list into my talk to later. And I would go into like, depending on where they're at, I might follow up with them in two weeks. Um, hey, I have another challenge starting. I know you were interested in my last one. Do you want to, you know, do want to apply for my new one? Um, or maybe a month, just depending where they're at. But your 10 in place list is like your hot list. And if you guys don't know Bob Lucido, he just made the Millionaires Club this year in Beachbody, and he has been an amazing mentor. But this is all he does, is he focuses on this 10 in playlist. So if I've talked to someone about Shakeology, about coaching, about the workouts, about um, anything, Beachbody, they are on my 10 in playlist. And so, I'm going to be, follow, I'll follow up with them like two or three times. And, you know, if, if they're still like, yeah, but I'm not quite ready, you know, you move them into the follow up at a certain time or, um, or they're going to move forward and they're going to purchase. But don't spend, don't have people on your 10 and playlist for weeks. You know, I would, um, the most, maybe two weeks, have someone on my 10 and playlist. Um, but this, this has helped me get the success club points that I've gotten is because I've been super focused and I'm like, Oh, they're not ready. I'll talk to them later. Um, or, Oh, they're ready. Um, 
So does that help, Cindy? Okay, awesome. Okay, so I have a video about that if you guys want to see it um, from Bob. He did a great job explaining it. Um, okay. Okay, so a quick question. The link for the man with the 21-day fix test group, that's Brad Bizjack, and he did an awesome job. We're so lucky to have him on our webinar. Um, he's an amazing Star Diamond coach, but I will. that's on our um, youtube.com slash pureresultsfitness. Um, it's, it's on that page, but I'll send it to Jonathan, and you can share it with your team. So, um, okay, the last question before we get kicked off of here in seven minutes is, okay, the business activity tracker. Um, so if you're not familiar with this, if you look at it, first of all, it looks overwhelming. Like when I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's overwhelming, and I didn't want to use it. And then um, my mentor from Beachbody was like, no, you need to use this, Shannon. You need to send it to me every week. You need to have your coaches send it to you every week. And I was like, oh man, like, oh, busy work, you know, like just that thought. And it, because it's overwhelming. So basically, it's like an Excel sheet um, that has specific tasks of what to do in your business every day. So it has like workout, drink shakeology, do personal development, um, talk to new people, invite them to your challenge, how many challenge packs you sold, how many programs you sold, um, just basically a checklist of all these things. Um, but he said, this was the best part, is to focus on the top two things. So focus on new contacts every day. And so this can be in person or online. Um, my specialty is definitely online, and I have tons of training. Um, I have a whole training about how to find people online, and I can share that with you, Jonathan, too, to share with your team. Um, on Instagram, on Facebook, um, if you want to do free stuff or paid ads, uh, anyway, I have learned a lot about that. So focusing on finding people every day. And like I say, if you want to go faster, increase your numbers. But I would do a minimum of two new people that you're going to meet. And I would just think of them like you're just going to meet new friends. Like I love meeting new people. So you're just meeting new friends. Like I use the example like I would go swimming when I lived in Arizona. And there would always be moms there. And I would say, oh, hey, it's nice to meet you. And we'd talk for a while. I wouldn't ever talk about Beachbody. And then at the end, I would say, hey, can I add you as a friend on Facebook? It was so awesome meeting you. Could we connect? I never give out business cards. I always say, hey, can you add me as a friend on Facebook? Um, do I accept all friend requests? No, I do not. I am very selective <laughs> on my friend requests. And some of my, my posts are private. I do not put all of my posts public. Um, so I would add him as a friend on Facebook. This has happened to me a few times where I'd add him as a friend on Facebook. They watch me on Facebook and then they would contact me um, to become a coach or to join my challenge. Um, and I didn't even say anything about Beachbody. I just met them, got to know them. Then they watched me on Facebook and they, you know, I, if you watch me on Facebook, I'm very uh, vocal about my workouts and stuff. And so um, anyway, they started coming to me. And so that's really important is when you're meeting new people, don't think of them as a cell. Think of them as a person that you are going to get to know and you're going to become friends with. And the goal is not to sell them anything. The goal is really to get to know them and to find out what their problems are and how you can solve them using Beachbody. And not everyone is going to want to buy, but a lot of people will want to buy it. If you uh, if you show interest in them that you really care, then they will want to buy from you. Um, so that's a big thing. And then number two on um, the business activity tracker is make sure to keep track of how many people you talk to about your challenge and about coaching every day. And I've really worked on building my team. Like I say, my goal is five new coaches a month. I haven't quite hit it every month. I've had between four and seven a month. Pretty good this year. But um, anyway, Focusing on having those conversations like if you want coaches on your team up your numbers have two to five conversations a day with people about coaching if you want to get to diamond fast talk to more people about coaching um, and just putting little hints in there like um, you know I don't usually give a full on presentation I'll just be like oh yeah you know at first is like I'm trying to get in shape coaching has really helped me stay accountable because I have to tell all these people um, to eat healthy I better be eating healthy myself. And they're like, oh, how, you know, how does coaching help you stay accountable? Or, you know, just little hints, like 
oh, it was so awesome. We were able to go on this date last night, and we just paid for it with Beachbody. Um, you know, little hints, and then they're like, oh, really? You know, even like I just got a check for $500 for helping this customer, and I could put in that little hint, um, you know, like, yeah, I got this check, check just for helping a customer um, win the Beachbody Challenge. But, but putting little hints in there, so it doesn't have to be this full-on conversation about coaching. Like, I would count all of those three as talking to people about coaching. Um, and it could be a one sentence. And I think of like seven times that I'm going to talk to that person until they're going to become a coach. So a little hint here and there, and then, you know, they'll eventually want to become a coach. Um, so the business activity tracker, like I say, is very important. Don't get overwhelmed by it, but just focus on those top two areas, and you will be surprised. Your business will grow so much faster, and in less time, I, I mean, seriously, I spend way less time now than I did over a year ago on my business, and I'm making way more than I did then. So stay really focused. All right, guys, our time limit is almost out here. Um, but thank you so much for joining us. Um, Jonathan and I are joining forces, and we're going to start doing some more team calls together. So um, stay tuned on those. Um, have a great night, everyone, and we'll have the recording up soon. Let us know if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, everyone. Thank Bye -bye. you, Shannon.